YouTube, welcome back to the channel, man. I had this comment right here asking me to do a video on how to make beats with stock VSTs. Does it finna get back and how we all started out, man? Let's get straight to it. So I ain't even gonna lie, man. It's it's been a minute since I used uh, stock VSTs. So yeah, my mission today is to prove to y'all they don't need a lot of expensive VSTs and plugins to to make good beats. All right, to be honest, I don't even know where to start for real. So um, yeah, I remember I used GMS a lot. Uh, back when I just started out, of course, I had no clue what I was doing back in the day, but I remember GMS. I believe the the presets were right here. Uh, okay, we got leads and synths, pads. Uh, I think I'm gonna uh, go through uh, these presets right here. All right, that's usable. Let's set the BPM to 165, uh, pretty fast. Now let's go for uh, C sharp minor. So I laid a basic arpeggio down uh, in C sharp minor. Uh, make sure to use the half steps to make it sound a little bit darker, give it a, a lot more tension. And what I mean by half steps is pretty much notes that are directly next to each other in the, in the same scale. So for example, this uh, D sharp and this E right here. And to add some variety to it and make it sound less repetitive, I added some uh, half notes right here too. This A uh, goes down to uh, G sharp right here. Uh, and then I basically just copied the whole melody over. Uh, to fill up the eight bars. Uh, so I don't really use pluck sounds a lot in my beats. So what I'm gonna do is uh, go into GMS again and see if there are any other presets that are usable. Damn. Okay, there are a lot of effects on that preset. Um, reverb. How do you turn off reverb in GMS, man? Uh, I think that's usable. So I'm gonna render this out and uh, flip it some more. Sounds cool. Uh, since I reversed the sample, I gotta chop it up because the whole sample is reversed now. So uh, basically the beginning we had before is now right here. So what I'm gonna do is cut it on uh, on every bar and then basically reverse it again. So now the, the chords or the, the arpeggio that we laid down uh, actually matches up with what we had before instead of the, the whole sample being reversed. Okay, that sounds way better. Something like that, maybe try some halftime, kind of slow it down a little bit. Sounds cool. All right, so I'll put some effects on the melody. Uh, I got an EQ on halftime, like y'all seen. Uh, then I put a reverb on it the stock FL Studio reverb. Next, I added EQ to kind of clean it up a little bit since we added uh, halftime and a reverb. And lastly, added some RC20 to it to kind of add some character to it, make it sound a little bit more vintage. Yeah, I know RC20 is a paid plugin, but I believe you can get RC20 for $5 a month, uh, so that's not too expensive. Sounds way better. All right, so I like it better lower pitched, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna keep it like that. All right, so for the next VST, I remember using Flex a lot when I first started out for the pianos. Uh, yeah, essential pianos right here. I think I'm gonna use one of these for the for the next melody. Uh, that's hard so far. I'm gonna uh, create a new pattern and lay down a counter melody with the same piano. So I'm gonna clone that and send that to a new mixer track so we can add different effects to this one. So yeah, I'm gonna lay down a counter melody with this piano to add some uh, high frequencies in the sample.
all right that's hard man uh this type was turning out way different than i uh than i approached it but yeah lay down some higher notes in the piano to add some uh, high into it like i said before basically laid down this melody right here and copied it straight over um but i only added these two notes and then i copied that straight over again for the effects on that use an eq then put a halftime on it to slow it down a little bit uh next put a shaper box on it to pan it up from left to right and i know these two plugins are paid but i believe you can slow things down or like halftime things with gross beat um right here with uh, with this half speed uh, preset now for shaper box for panning things out i believe you could use panomatic uh, to do the same thing just looks a little bit different but it's it's free all right so the melody already sounds pretty full so i think i'm gonna add like one or two more sounds and then uh, get into the drums all right so i found this preset in gms which sounds pretty cool Sounds like that. Uh, I think I'm gonna lay some kind of counter melody down. Okay, so I kind of added this little off time counter melody, if you can call it that. Yeah, I don't know what this preset is. Oh, it's called Cosmic Scenes, something like that. Uh, I don't know, it sounds crazy, so I'm gonna keep it. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for the melodies. Lastly, I added this bass future sub from GMS once again. Uh, yeah, basically added that for some low end of the sample. Uh, and yeah, I think it's pretty much done. So I'm gonna arrange this, structure it out, and get into the jumps, man. Alright, so for the arrangement, I played around with the halftime a little bit that was on the uh, on the main melody right here, which we laid down in the beginning. What I did is for the intro right here, I kind of created this little automation clip so the halftime like slowly fades out, and then for the first eight bars of the hook, it's uh, without the halftime, the, the main melody. So yeah, I'm gonna create a new pattern, lay it down right here, and put some drums under it. But like always, man, all the drum sounds I'm gonna be using for this beat came from my uh, Rooks and drum kit right here. It awaits bonus loops, claps, effects, hi hats, kicks, open hats, perks, and uh, some snares. So yeah, basically all the drum samples you need to lay down hard drums, man. And I'm also gonna be using my new unreleased drum kit, which I'm working on. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it.
All right, so that's how I make beats with stock VSTs, man. So I hope this video proves to y'all that you don't need a lot of expensive VSTs and plugins uh, to make good beats. So yeah, I want to thank y'all for watching the video. Uh, also, make sure to let me know in the comments what y'all trying to see next on the channel. If you have any suggestions or feedback. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel, man. Follow me on Instagram. And that's it for me today, man. So y'all stay safe.